Once we got all our studs marked out on the bottom plate, we went ahead, put our top plate right next to it and transferred over our stud locations so that we have a clear layout when we start setting these studs. It's the next day, we took the weights off. The liquid nails is dry. It's not going nowhere. All right, we got all our studs in. Time to go work on this header. So the header is gonna consist of two two by eights with pieces of the half inch plywood in between, sandwiched in between, and that's gonna give us an even three inches to go on our trimmer studs. So on the ceiling, we got marked out where all of our studs are at so we can nail on the stud. I accidentally cut to the center line, so I had to add a block right here just so it would end on a stud half and half. And because we wanted to get this flush against, at first there was no stud on the back here to be able to nail into. So we just drilled a couple extra studs onto the plate there just to be able to drill into, so improvising on the fly. All right, so everything's prepped, ready, inspected. We're good to go. Now we're gonna start mixing some mud. So for the first coat, I'm gonna be using Easy Sand 45. Now, like the name suggests, we've got 45 minutes to work with it before this stuff starts setting. And that's gonna save us a bunch of time because we'll be able to sand and get our second coat up all in the same day. 
So to stop any dust from coming into the rest of the house, we block it off with some leftover drywall and then some plastic up top to fill in the gaps. So that while we sand, everything will be pushed out, sort of, by the fan and out the door so it's not getting in the rest of the house. So now that our wall's all smooth and ready to go, before we throw on texture and paint, we're gonna make sure to hit it with some drywall primer. That's just gonna lock everything in and make sure we get a great finish. All right, so the mistake I made when texturing this wall was going with texture in a can. Now texture in a can is nice if you're doing a small area, but if you're gonna do something on this size, just go ahead and buy you a texture gun and an air compressor, and then you can reuse that and it's gonna be about the same cost. So once everything was masked off, outlet covers and baseboards were removed. We went ahead and hit the whole room with two coats of primer so we can set up for a nice finish with our final paint. So here I just thought it was a good idea to use spray foam to fill the gap around the edges just so our flooring would have a nice level surface to sit on. So today's the day we're installing flooring. Now before this I went through and scraped all the floors made sure they're nice and level and there's nothing no dirt or anything that is laying on there. We are going to be using this just standard underlayment so we're going to lay that out but first we need to get our planks ready. So with the flooring, we're gonna go ahead and sort out all of the patterns so we can have them all separated so we can make sure as we're laying it, we can stagger up the design so it looks more natural. Cause you don't really wanna have two similar planks right next to each other cause they're identical. And so that's gonna make it look, you know, unauthentic. But we're gonna sort out a couple boxes, get a couple piles going so that we can get in here and start laying our underlayment so we can run it through the house eventually and it'll go against the longest wall in the house and perpendicular to the front door. Breakfast of champions, baby. Start off the morning with a bang. Let's go. So for the corners, we're just gonna cut this trim so that the plank will slide right underneath. All right, so I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this is my first time doing trim. Now, a couple key notes that I learned afterwards that would've made the job a lot easier is one, instead of using a brad nailer, use a pin nailer with 23 gauge nails. That's just gonna make a smaller hole that you gotta fill later. And then instead of using wood filler, they have wood putty for trim that you can rub smooth and there's no need to sand. So before I wrap up this video and show you guys the final before and after shots, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did, comment if you got a question, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. But until next time, I'll catch you on the next one.